Okay, and then we have a, we have a uh, representation of another technique we use called cantilevering. And so this beam right here, um, it's behind this, uh, behind this uh, pipe and this ladder, but we're gonna put in two steel pipe columns here and here. And so the rule on cantilevering is, I want you to cantilever that seat on to buy yourself on the north end, you got that? Huh? Oh. What a twig in the hole. Oh, rookie. And, and let's let's back up and use the word cantilevering. Can, think of a seesaw as a uh, good example of a cantilever. And so on the cantilever, we're extending part of the part of the beam out and having it's over no support. And what we the the way we support it is we put a very heavy duty support at the point where we stop supporting the cantilevered portion, and then we have to go back two times the length of the cantilevered part. Bridges, beam, cantilever, arch, suspension. So it's kind of like an iceberg. Iceberg, going ahead! You see part of it, the six feet's the part you see, but the 12 feet that's going back allows us to keep that seesaw from tilting. So we're using the floor above, and then we also tie it back down to the foundation. So we're able to have an unsupported six six foot part due to the 12 foot part that's unseen back behind. So uh, these pipe columns will end up being right here on the corner and then back here 12 feet away and that allows that beam because that beam right there is supporting the end of this long 30 foot, remember how we talked about the double welded together beam. So you have two beams that come into the one cantilevered beam going this way so it forms an L to support the kitchen ceiling. And that cantilever uh, process is uh, pretty cool and pretty interesting and takes a lot of engineering. Now we didn't make it up, we just perfected it.